Hello to all the new people checking me out. Well, you know, not in the sexual way, more like you're watching my YouTube videos. Uh, this is a vlog. <laughs> or as I like to call it, a video blog. Because whenever I type things, I use an iPad, and whenever I type or use my voice for it to uh, put into words that then you can read, it always changes vlog to blog. So I always want to call this a video blog, even though it's a vlog. The joys of using screen reader technology, because if you spell VLOG on my iPad, the voice will tell you that is incorrect, that is not right. Stop doing it. So, you know, kind of grows on you after a while. Soon you're saying blog. That's why you always hear me say video blog. Anyway, welcome to today's life experiences. Well, as you can tell, it snowed. It snowed, people! That's right. Finally, the snow has come back to central Alberta. I wonder how many people are going in more than like I was going to do drive through but now I'm just going to park. <laughs> yeah. We're in a huge drive through line. And my wife is only carrying three bucks. No, I'm just kidding. Goes to a song called drive through by Weird Al, that lyric I just did there. Cloudy one! Uh, it's very boring today. Very, very boring. Why, it's so boring that even a spider is having more fun. The ultimate supper. Lasagna. So what we did here is we grabbed some um, fake cheese, as we call it, soy cheese, and we got some veggie round and those um, easy to cook pasta noodles. And then we put it in the oven for 25, 30 minutes. Uh, temperature of 350. Oh yeah, right now the oven is just heating up. Can't come up with anything to record today, so I thought let's just record a video vlog and upload that. So you're actually watching a span of three days, this being on three, third day. It's been very non-motivational in the Bjarnson household. It's because of the uh, clouds and the snow and all that. Once the snow gets here and it stays here, then we're gonna go probably take the kids sliding. Oh, oh, uh, the oven has said it's ready. Sheena, show us how to do it. You should always wear oven gloves, kids. And there we go. And what's the timer for? 30 minutes? Let's go do 45. Oh, do 45. Okay, there we go, guys. 45 minutes. And there's the snow that we got uh, two days ago. It's not bad. Look at those snow covered trees. Just gorgeous. So this is going up today, which is still going to be Thursday when you watch it. I hope you had a great Thursday. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Not all of them are awesome, but I love hanging out with you. And isn't all that matters? Yesterday I uploaded a video uh, just promoting my Instagram. I often put videos on Instagram every now and then. So I was promoting that. And I noticed it only got like 17 views. And I realized something. You guys enjoy the more awesome videos where I'm actually bringing you on adventures and having a good time. Now, I've always known that. But I was surprised my... Um, Instagram video didn't get at least 40 views because that seems to be awesome like the 40 number is awesome right that's the most I ever get on an average video so that's sharing that today so on this non motivational Thursday I thought I would ask you the big question if you make YouTube videos or podcasts or blogs how do you motivate yourself to come up with great ideas when do you wake up and sit down and, and you ask yourself, what am I going to do today? Why am I going to do it? How do you do that? For me, what I'll do is I'll use a search tool I have on my um, account here on YouTube. I will type it in and it will tell me how good that word is doing that day. And I'll know, hey, I can make a video about this because... 50% of the users are interested, you know, and that's what I do. Most of my videos are about the latest keyword searches, right? That way I get the most out of my videos, the most searched and the most founded videos, right? So what is your tool regarding coming up with great videos? Do you just shoot off the cuff or do you say, hey, here's what I'm going to do today? Usually I will shoot off the cuff, but lately it's been more or less what's going on right now that I can participate with my channel. And I'm just wondering, is my collar good? Okay, good. I always hear my mom in the background. She's not afraid to tell me when my collar is messed up. There we go. And what, in your opinion, is the best kind of shirt to wear daily? For me, polo! I love these shirts, right? It's like um, one, two, two buttons, and it has a collar, but in reality, short sleeves. It's a polo shirt. I love these things, man. I feel like I can go to a super dressy place and just have like a blazer like this and still be extra dressy because of the polo shirt it just works you know shout out to my high school best bud justin whenever we went to the local bar to get a few drinks or hang out we'd always go in suits you know it was awesome we all we enjoyed it it was kind of our thing right wherever we went wherever we went we would always wear suits together it was good this one time, me and Justin went to this bar, and it was same-sex night. So the bar was full of people dating th their same gender, and we actually got asked to leave because the bartender was worried that we, out of everyone, would be offended. But we, we didn't care. But we left anyway. Oh, man, it was so fun. I, I miss you, Justin. All right, well, anyway, that about wraps it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know in the comments what's your favorite kind of shirt to wear and how do you get motivated to make YouTube videos? What are certain things you do to come up with great ideas?